Welcome back to Character Select. Dave and Saban back for more Pillars of Eternity, the game that we will be playing for Eternity because it's very long. We're going to talk to this dude also, right here. I have RTX voice so, now. Yay! Hello. The smell of pipe smoke, at once earthy and sweet, winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a broad man with straw colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall, his pipe held to his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Oh, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? It's my boy, Matt Mercer. <laughs> Again. I'm sorry? Again. Dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. What are you talking about? The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Aloth Fra- Aloth? Aloth. Aloth. Aloth Franz. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Name's Adair. Or to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. Makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman. He looks at you for a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broadens. Well, I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radrick at first. Impossible. I don't drool half as much. Ha! <laughs> so you're already familiar. Still, you'll have to forgive my curiosity. Around here, we'd prefer to turn a blind eye to our dead. Do you know what a watcher is? Careful, friend. Best not use that word around here. Could be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here. Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. You think you're gonna be hanged? The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well... He's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. The war? Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fella decides he's the living incarnation of Eothus. Eothus? Eothus. Overthrows... Eothus. Eothus. Overthrows Raid Surus. Arches on Deerwood. So we gave him a Deerwood and hello. What's a Deerwood and hello? We blew him up. Nice. He smiles at this, but is the smile of one recounting a joke for effect, rather than enjoyment. Who is Aethus? God of rebirth and redemption. Formerly, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. What does your town have against you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Aethus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there? That was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. He enlisted, then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers. Accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. <laughs> of course. Jesus. The townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Eventually, you run out of people to point to, Saven. Yeah, this game is grim as shit. Yeah. I can s you can see why I was eager to leave. If you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? He gives a half smile. <laughs> drinking, mostly. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. Just haven't figured out where figured where I'm going yet. 
not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Wadewin's Wadewin's legacy started with Wadewin. We could travel together. Where are you headed? Some place called Cade Nua. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say Watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. I'm not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. A strange stranger. But, truth be told, awesome. you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel and you're in a strange land. me swing from that tree. There's a fine reason if I ever heard one. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. <laughs> Let's get going. How bad? All right, hey, it's my there. boy. Fragments of a scattered faith. So I do seem to recall that Ader, Adair, sorry, the is uh, pretty much a tank boy, right? Yeah, he is extremely hard to kill. He has many hit points, and he has passive regeneration from being a fighter. Just uh, give him infinite athletics and he's good to go. Okay. What does higher athletics do? Uh, your second win heals more. Ah. Also, it's good for skills and stuff, you know. Um, what should, Offensive, maybe? Uh, I mean, if you want him to be a tanky boy, there's the defensive options. Uh, weapon and shield style is a good choice. Plus six deflection. AC. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, so, so there's something about that conversation yeah? that kind of strikes me as obvious, and maybe it's just me. But you kill a guy who says that he's the living incarnation of a god that's responsible for rebirth and resurrection, and suddenly mm -hmm. people start getting born without souls... Yeah, interesting how that works out, don't it? Yeah, and nobody makes that fucking connection. Oh, I'm sure they do. That's why they call it Widewind's Legacy, because Aethus was in a fella named Widewind. Gotcha. Uh, so if you want to go into the church there, there's a little mini dungeon in there, but otherwise you can uh, go back the way you came and kill a bear. Ooh, I do like killing bears. Is there anything worthwhile in this mini dungeon? Uh, yeah, lots of experience and story stuff. I do like story stuff. I don't know that for anybody out there that's like, oh my god, they're going to be playing this game forever. I don't know that we're going to do everything in this game. There's too much. No. Oh, hey, buddy. Also, uh, before we get into a uh, dangerous area, you might want to check out your formation. Because right now, the squishiest two members of your party are in the front. Just right-click on that. Nope. Oh, I... oh, oh, you have to use one of the custom ones on the side there. Uh, oh, the there one we go. Two. Right click, yeah. Do 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 Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been in here for must be five, six years. It used to be real nice. Bright. Warm. Dude, there's a guy bleeding to death there. What <laughs> shut up, Ader. <laughs> a man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeved so sleeve soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near, his features twisted with pain. Have a care if you mean to go in. He casts a quick look towards the doorway to his left. This place is not so empty as I thought. He angles a uh, uh, look up at Adair. Paying your respects, Athosian. He manages a pain grim. A little risky, isn't it? Think what the town folk would say. Safer down here than up there. Even with the rats as big as they are, a faint edge of hostility belies Adair's playful tone. This temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. He groans in Schiff's position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of his types, either. Wharton jerks his chin towards Adair. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. Maybe you'd have better luck. Better luck with what? These ruins around us used to be a temple of Aethys, the Scattered God. Granted, do they call him the Scattered God because they blew him up? Yes. <laughs> awesome. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Deerwood, from Riedsaras even. 
Not so much from Red Cirrus these days. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Go on. Once the legacy started, Lord Radric decided he'd been too lenient on the Athosians. Had his people go in and put them to the sword. Left them down here, buried under a heap of rock. After that, Radric ordered the temple sealed. It's been years like that up until recently. Lord Radric hopes that if we rededicate the temple to a living god, then we'll be forgiven. The legacy will end, see? He smiles wryly. But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Those priests... Maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go down like that. Chopped down in their god's house? Doesn't sit right with me. If you can get down there, find their remains. We could finally give them a proper burial. No small task. There's coin in it for you if you need motivating. Pleasant surprise to see someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. Um. Alright, I'll find them. And by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers. Switches in the walls, trick sconces, that sort of thing. Keep an eye out, and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen this place. Did not oh, even know it was a dungeon. Uh, oh, that's probably bad, right? I it's just a will o' wisp. Kill it. Just immune to shitloads of things. Uh. Yeah. So if you want to check out uh, Aloth stuff, since this is the first time we get to fight with him, uh, twice per encounter he can use an AOE little magic blast, but otherwise Arcane the spells assault. are are per daily. So. Gotcha. It's uh, it's sorcerer style casting, so he can use any of his three spells in any combination. So let's magic missile the will o' wisp, and then a dare sure. doesn't really have Knock anything. Down. Okay, so send him over there, and then me. I have a new ability. It's called Crucible of the Soul. Everybody around me gets damaged, and I gain endurance. Yep. It's pretty fucking awesome. It is once per day, though. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you have a melee weapon out still. Oh, whoops. Hey there. Rip. Oh, by the way, attacks opportunity are a thing, but that guy was uh, fighting Ed, so... Fighting Ed. <laughs> uh, he yeah, his is name's Ed, by the way. confused. That's probably not good. Yeah. No, that's fine. It doesn't make you attack your friends as long as there's nobody within reach. He will just stand there like a doofus. <laughs> uh, but I, I think you can still soul shock him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that damaged you. <laughs> what? That was weird. I think that damaged you. Something hurt me, that's for sure. Oh no, the will was lightning bolted you. Uh oh, so I'm confused. Nah, can't do anything. Pop, pop, pop. Uh oh. Now things are bad. Nah, you're good. You're you've recovered. Uh let's use this to kill that will o' wisp. Because half dead is full damage. Yep. Oh, I'm confused again. Yep, and being confused provokes opportunity attacks if you wander around, so that's not good. Lovely. And hey, you leveled. And then everybody gets some all their health back. All right. So we've got athletics. We're not really worried about stealth. You said we should get some points in survival, though? Just one. Okay. You always want one point in athletics and survival, and then uh, pretty much whatever you want. I like being smart lore. Makes sense to me. Ooh, and we get a new power too. We can get a level second level two, level two powers. Antipathetic field. I wish I had one of those. Psycho vampiric shield. Uses the target strength of mind against it, stealing a portion of its resolve in order to better deflect incoming attacks. So, drain your resolve to give me AC. Nice. Yep. 
Invades the mind of the targets of the area effect, making them believe they are surrounded by phantom foes, leaving them flanked for the duration. Interesting. Mind blades. There you go. That's that's a gun. That is good. Okay, we're going to get that. Mental binding is overwhelms the target's mental ability, paralyzing it, causing its soul to emit a shockwave that can leave nearby enemies struck. That would be good for, like, big melees. Bounces psych uh, psychic energy harmlessly off the target and under the closest nearest enemy, causing pierce damage and violently pushing them backwards. So I target somebody and somebody else gets punched in the face? Yep. That's kind of hilarious. You bounce it off your buddies. Cause the moment to relive the psychic trauma of an injury moments after receiving it. Experiencing the damage all over again. So if you get hit, you're taking 30% more damage. <laughs> huh. Amplified thrust is kind of hilarious. Um, it's pretty good, too. It does a shitload of damage. Look yeah, at that. it's like 45. 62. But it's, on it's only good for multiple enemies. But against multiple enemies, that would be really good. Plus, we have Mind Blades. Well, no, it's that against, also... it, you use it against one enemy. It just has to have an ally to bounce it off of. Yeah. Right. It'll, so it only works when, the, uh, when there's... Oh. No, I can bounce it off my own guys. Cool. Yeah, you bounce it off your friends onto enemies. Now you are much stabbier. Mm-hmm. Get you some crafting mats. Oh. Goodbye, friend. Okay. This parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it faded. In this time of hardship, must have just as much faith in ourselves. Oop, there's something over here. Oh. Some Audra and some money. Do, do, do. Why am I not saving the game constantly? An ivory spider. You get with a spider. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Do, do, do. Can't use this yet. Nope. Gotta build up second power. I need Thank 20 points Lord. for that. Nope. Game, actually. Slowly dying there you go. Poison. But it's dead. Uh, how do yeah, I heal poison? poison. Uh, it just goes away after now. Oh, good. Sure. That could have sucked otherwise. Yeah. Don't worry, I don't think there are any, like, permanent debilities in this game. You do get injuries if you get knocked unconscious, but those just go away when you rest. Hmm. Boop. And some camp supplies. Your can't supply. Okay. Uh, I did read that note. I'm not gonna we're not gonna read out all the notes unless it's important. That one just says make sure to strike the second bell first. Whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not part of a puzzle coming up. <laughs> do, 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 boop, this would be a good time for, uh, yeah, that. Yeah. Most inconvenient. Whoa, what the hell? Did we all just get webbed? Yep. Sure did. Don't forget Aloth's uh, twice per encounter ability. Right. Yeah, it leaves enemies dazed too. I'm stuck over here. Bop. Not gonna lie, the animation in this game is really impressive. For being so, yeah. for being like such small models, it's really impressive. All right, can I? No, I can't. That would have been hilarious, though. Maybe next time. I need to get, so I get two base cipher points per level. Uh, Cause I had yeah, 10, now I have 12. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't, know. I don't know the exact formula off the top of my head. The red brown smears blued. flake away under the toe of your boot. That's sure. blued. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and at certain angles, the metallic symbol beneath your feet gold gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Is anyone else? No. Who are you? 
Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you are somewhere else. Your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in the great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium, lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man is shouting, voice so ragged with fear you cannot understand what he says. But the rectrix stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar, swaying. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared. I don't think that's somebody that's alive. <laughs> no, probably not. So, Radric's just an asshole. Yeah, he definitely just pogromed a bunch of people for their religion. Specifically because he couldn't get what he wanted. What is a scolder? I mean, specifically because all the babies in his province are uh, coming out without souls, which... Now, remember, those don't track, so... Yeah, that's why I'm holding off on it. lead them or wait till they get an engagement. Ghost Blades is fun. Yeah, but, but it's closer range. a lot of plays. All right, we're going to hold hey. off. Just attack. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? He is now uh, dazed, So these are basically ghouls. They stunned. paralyzed you. Ugh. Get zappy, bitch. Uh, need to be a little closer. Hey there. Uh oh, not that uh -oh, close. Not that close. <laughs> not that close. <laughs> uh oh. We're all dazed. Great. It's fine. You can still act while dazed. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, we did it's okay. it. Okay, who needs spell slots? Hmm, an ear. Delightful. Uh, a book about the monsters of the Deadfire Archipelago. Cool. Uh, scroll of hey, Jolting scroll. Touch. Uh, beloved Land, Poems of Air Gla uh, Glanfoth, and some money. Sure. Oh, fuck. More ghouls. They don't seem terribly alarmed by the other fight. Uh, you're not doing anything. I know. I'm waiting for them to get closer. But I'm Bop. slowly dying of boredom. Boop, boop, boo, ba doop, boo. Off the other scene. Whoa! That was a chunk of damage. That was bitching, too. Looked really awesome. <laughs> Fucking stop Everybody hitting me! Out. Oh, three hit points. Yeah, but if I go not even close. If I go down, it's not <laughs> it's not the end of it, right? I get an injury though. Yeah, you do get an injury that lasts until you rest. Okay, so he wants lore, 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 right? Yep. And then, oh, he gets an he gets two level two spells or level one spells. Um, yep. Combusting because he's a wizard. Those are just the ones you get automatically. That is, uh, that's that's a fun one. Uh, my favorite uh, level two is uh, Console Hot's Corrosive Siphon. Eats away at the target spirit, inflicting corrosive damage and converting that essence into endurance for the caster. All right then. Uh, yeah, the empiric caress. touch. Uh, mirrored image is mirror image. Mirror image. Necrotic lance. Rolling that's flame. Uh, there's also Curse of Black Inside, which just blinds people, which is super good. Uh, Infused with Vital Essence isn't good until Pillars 2, in which case it is OP. Oh, this is like uh, this is like an aid spell. Yeah, it just gives people a bunch of, or gives you specifically a bunch of extra HP. And then creates a rebounding ball of fire, inflicting burn damage on anyone in its path. Emphasis, anyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Ray of Fire is Agonizer Scorcher. Yeah, again, anyone. <laughs> hmm, that's not going to work out well for me. Necrotic Lance. No. Cool. 
Then a dare gets a level. Athletics. Uh, so he can get one of these. Guardian Stance. Devotes all his energy to defending allies. Lowers accuracy, but increases deflection of nearby allies. Uh, focuses on their training, significantly increasing accuracy for a short amount of time. Uh, causing a percentage of their grazes to be converted to hits and increasing the minimum damage for melee weapons. Or, fighter adopts a more conservative combat strategy, concentrating on locking down enemies that steer you too close. The fighter increases his or her number of engagement th targets to three, but at the expense of deflection. Done. Because we have nobody else that can engage targets right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, so don't forget to put your, mail your ranged weapon back on. That's the thing right. you want. And he needs to turn that ability on. Because that is a modal. Ding. Yeah? Ooh. And there's your first magic weapon. Well, not magic, but it's masterwork. Hey, Adair. You ever wanted a really nice sword? Hold on. Uh, 0 0.5 seconds, 15 to 22 slash damage. 15 to 21 the, slash The fine pierce. sword is just better. Mm, no, it's not. It's slightly less damaging. Yeah, the saber has 20% damage, but uh, fine, I believe, gives it like... Yeah, oh, more plus accuracy 15 and damage, plus 15 more damage. Accurate. Okay. That's just enough to offset your uh, guardian stance almost. Okay. To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of this letter is crossed out in several places and then abandoned altogether. Yeah, it didn't work out. Ooh, silver money, money. fennings. Sure. These prayer scrolls are coated with a thick layer of grime and dust. Consider it done. Give me a real challenge. Oh, I do have lockpicks. Cool. Crossbow. Cool. Hey, look, bells. The Great Western Stag, the Book of Verses. It's only a whelp. Kill it. Down it goes. Well, I mean, if you insist. Do do do. Do, 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 do. On you. Nah, I didn't get close enough. Show them how it's done. Okay. So the range on that. What is the range on that? Uh, uh, so that's the range for your ally. The range for the foe jump is three, three meters. meters. Yeah. Five hey and there. then three. So... Vermin have scoured these plates, though mold still grows in green-black crumbs sure. across the table. I know we're heading left. I want to see if there's anything to the right. Okay. There's another path down there. Look. Oh, no, I don't think you can get through there. No. Mo rocks yeah, there's have collapsed. The okay. So let's go this way first, and we can examine this. Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There's one large bell at the center, flanked by two smaller ones. We don't have what we need yet. Forgotten struck the largest bell first, rather than second. So the large bell is second. Yeah? Ugh. Oh, God. Let's wash that down with an antidote. <laughs> Are you for fucking real? That was real? a shitload of damage. Holy God. Jesus. How do you cure those? You can only do it in... Uh, you need to rest. Ugh. Why can't I enchant my fucking hat? All right. How do uh, I check to see whether or not it's actually got a trap, for fuck's sake? Uh, so you need to be in... Yeah, you need to be in scouting I'll take mode. A peek. It doesn't have a trap on it anymore. Ooh. Plus 10 defense against spells. Nice. And then yeah. a Gurnet. Well, I already have a cloak, so... Aloth already has a cloak. So, Adair, 
Already has a fucking cloak. But the cape is just a cape, so that's fine. But now they're not as stylish sure. anymore. Now he gets to show off his big beefy muscles. Oh shit. Oh god. That is so much. Get at her into that door now. Uh. Yeah, just throw a blast right into the doorway, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Hey, do the that again. The good news is now they're all engaged. Do that again. And your character's not doing anything. I know. Not to alarm you. No, what? You can't just disengage. That's against the rules. No, they they took an oppy. Yeah, might as well. Uh, isn't that gonna hit Adair? Uh, so go back to Ghost Blades. Yeah, you'll notice that that doesn't have a red part, so he does not get affected. Gotcha. Ah, like where that rough? Zap. Nope. Swap back, take a step back, start killing some more. And don't have enough yet, okay. You are gonna knock this guy down, or try. Oh, what? No! Stop disengaging! Like assholes! Uh, you might want to have Ed use a uh, second wind. Seems rather hurt. <laughs> Ooh, that was very good. Push that guy over, please. Hey. Oh, Jesus. You a yeah, he got pushed over, all right. Hey there. Not to alarm you, but I... Oh, <laughs> bye all. He'll probably live. He's only got a twisted ankle. It's... Ow. Ears. Oh. Ear. I love ghoul ears in the morning. Nope. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight is the sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and seeds with the grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges towards and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals and they're slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late, again. The right's going to begin without you. You hear the toiling of a bell, the tolling of a bell, and your spirits lift as you recognize the familiar warped tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and the last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The lights fade, as does the memory, and then your eyes clear. This when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, whoop. Just double check, make sure there's no trap traps. Cool. Now I'm gonna be paranoid. This can't be a this Good. this can't be a repeat of fucking uh, Dagoth's tower. I don't remember what his fucking name was. Durlag's. Durlag's tower. Yes, the fucking worst tower in existence. All right. So examine the bells. They appear to be fully intact. There doesn't appear to be much out of the ordinary from them. So that one said. Let's see if we got anything in here. Da -da -da. The first and last of these tolls is apparently that of the right hand, which has a distinctive warped tone to it. Okay. So. A strange warbling peal. Then the middle bell. Then the right bell again? Mm. Okay, now. So right, middle, left, right. There's a quiet melodic chime from all three bells before their discordant voices meet in one powerful rushing, rising rush of sound. It seems to fill the whole of the temple, a driving flood of song that drowns all other thought. As the tolling fades, you hear a creak from the direction of the doors as the passage to the lower level swings open. Nice. Hey, you did it. I'm proud of you. I just wasn't sure if it wanted me to put hit all the bells or not. Um, let's camp. <laughs> Might be a good time to, yeah. 
Mmm, our big campsite out in the open in the middle of this underground temple. I'm glad that the grass is growing even underground. All right, next time on Character Select, the second floor, because this episode has already gone 40 minutes. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it, and save it. It's going to be a long game. Yep. <laughs>